This is extraction of sodium metal as presented by the Kenyan teacher. Starting with the ores of sodium. The ores of sodium include rock salt which is sodium chloride. The next ore of sodium is chile saltpeter which is sodium nitrate. We also have trona. Trona is a double salt of sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate with two waters of crystallization. We also have globus salt as an ore of sodium. Globus salt is hydrated sodium sulfate. We have borax which is hydrated sodium borate. And finally we have washing soda which is hydrated sodium carbonate. Let's now move on to the actual extraction process. Extraction of sodium is done through electrolysis. The reason as to why this is so is because sodium is a very reactive metal and cannot be reduced by our common reducing agents. Compounds of sodium are also very stable and require a lot of energy to reduce. So to obtain sodium, molten or fused sodium chloride or rock salt is electrolyzed in a Down's cell. Let's have a look at the components of the Down's cell next. The cell consists of an iron tank that has been lined with fire bricks. Now inside of the cell is filled with molten sodium chloride, calcium chloride mixture, actually in the ratio of 60% for sodium chloride to 40% calcium chloride. Now this mixture is going to act as our electrolyte. Now to reduce the heating costs, calcium chloride as shown here is usually mixed with our molten ore whose melting point is about 801 degrees Celsius. The mixing with calcium chloride reduces the melting point to about 600 degrees Celsius because the melting point of the mixture is 600 degrees Celsius. Now, at the center of the cell, we have a graphite anode where chloride ions are oxidized to form chlorine gas. The equation for the reaction at anode becomes chloride ions in liquid state will lose two moles of electrons to form chlorine gas. We balance this with the two on chloride ions. Chlorine gas then escapes through a hood above the anode where it is collected, purified and stored in pressurized tanks. Now our anode is usually surrounded by a diaphragm of iron gauze screens which separates molten sodium from chlorine gas. We are separating sodium from chlorine because the two would react 
explosively if they came into contact. Now our diaphragm is in turn surrounded by cylindrical steel cathode where we are now discharging sodium ions to form molten sodium. The equation for the discharge of sodium ions is that sodium ions again in liquid state are going to accept one mole of electrons to form sodium in liquid state. Usually when we are writing this equation for discharge at anode and cathode, we insist on writing them to the simplest ratio. Now, liquid sodium is floating on the denser molten salt mixture as we can see here. It is therefore siphoned off, cooled and cast into blocks. Then these blocks are stored in paraffin oil to prevent sodium from reacting with atmospheric oxygen or water vapor. Now before we stop this short video, because extraction of sodium is actually very simple, one extra piece of information that I would want our candidates to know is that calcium chloride here, which we mix with our ore to reduce the melting point considerably and therefore saving us on fuel costs, these might introduce calcium ions in our electrolyte. And sometimes these calcium ions could be discharged at cathode to produce an impurity in our metal, which is calcium metal. Now, the two are always separable. They are always separable. You can easily separate sodium from the impurity of calcium because calcium is denser and always our molten sodium will float on top of it and can easily be separated. Dear candidate, with that extra piece of information, we have come to the end of our short video in which we have taken you through the extraction of sodium metal. Kindly keep it the Kenyan teacher for more reviews.